What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here and welcome to my FIFA 17 Scouting Guide. Now today I'm going to be looking at how to pick a good scout because obviously it's very important if you want to find good players. Now probably the most important thing you need to understand when it comes to this is the difference between experience and judgement. So experience means two things. Firstly, it determines how likely the scout is to find the type of player that you've told him to look for. So if you don't want your scout bringing back a load of defenders when you told him to find attackers, you want a scout with high experience. And specifically, a scout with one star experience only has a 30% chance of finding the type of player you're after, but a five star scout has an 80% chance. So this is actually higher than it was in FIFA 16, so it's definitely worth buying a scout with five stars experience if you can afford it. So take a look at fifascoutingtips.com where I've got a lot more info on this as well. But obviously if you search for any, then experience is irrelevant because the scout's not looking for a certain player type. And likewise, searching for goalkeepers will only get you goalkeepers, so again the experience doesn't matter if you're looking for that. Now the second thing experience does is it determines how many players your scout will bring back on each report. So one star in experience will get you one to two players per report, two stars experience is two to three players, three stars experience is three to five players, four stars experience is four to six players, and finally five stars experience brings you back five to seven players per report. So again, the five star scout gets a little bit of a boost from FIFA 16 when you get four to six players on each report. And the more players you get on each report, the greater the chances that a top quality player is among them, so it's definitely worth getting experience. But what's probably more important is judgement because it determines the quality of players that your scout finds. It's actually pretty difficult for all scout qualities to find platinum players because while a 1 star judgement scout only has a 1% chance of finding platinum players, 5 star judgement scouts only have a 10% chance which isn't really that much higher. But the good news is that EA has made it slightly easier to find platinum players in FIFA 17 than it was in FIFA 16 because while in FIFA 16 5 star judgement scouts had a 6% chance of finding platinum players and a 23% chance of finding bronze players, now those percentages are 10% and 14% respectively. So getting a 5 star judgement scout is a more worthwhile investment in FIFA 17 than it was last year because you're more likely to find platinum players. Next up, I want to look at exactly what is a platinum player. The game defines them like this. Platinum player has a potential between 75 and 95. A gold player has potential between 65 and 90. A silver player has potential between 60 and 85. And a bronze player has potential between 55 and 80. So based on this, a bronze player's maximum potential is 80. However, there's also a potential modifier of plus or minus 0 to 10, meaning that the player's potential could be boosted or reduced by anything from nothing at all to 10 points. So in practice you might scout a bronze player with potential 80, and this then gets boosted by 10 points by the modifier, meaning you end up with a player with 90 potential. So even though the vast majority of players a 1 star judgement scout finds will be bronze, there is a chance he'll find a real gem whose potential has been boosted massively, although of course it is very very rare. And given a 5 star judgement scout is 10 times more likely to find a platinum player than a 1 star judgement scout is, it's worth investing in the best scouts if you can afford to. A scout with 5 star experience and 5 star judgement costs £3.4 million, so it is worth saving up. The final thing I want to look at is how to get better scouts. When you're going to hire a scout, you've got 5 to choose from, but you might feel that none of them are any good. And there are two ways you can quickly improve your options. First of all, you can save and reload. Scouts refresh every 7 days, so what you need to do is work out which day your scouts will change on, then save the day before. Advance one day and check the scout list again, and if it's still no good, just quit and reload the save and then try it again. Eventually you should find a good scout. The second option is a little more expensive, but it is a little more reliable. When you buy a scout, there's a 25% chance that they'll be replaced by a higher rated scout. So if you buy a scout with 4 stars in both experience and judgement, if you then go to buy a second scout, there's a 25% chance you may get one, for example, with 5 stars in both experience and judgement. So if you have the budget, this second option takes some of the randomness out of generating new scouts, but of course it will cost you a fair amount of money because you have to keep buying new scouts. So that's it for this part of my FIFA 17 scouting guide looking at how to find a good scout. I really hope it's been useful. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you've got any suggestions yourself or any other tips for finding good scouts and putting them to use. Uh, I will be doing more stuff on the FIFA 17 scouting guide coming soon so keep an eye out for that. And make sure you go over to fifascoutingtips.com where I've got uh, the full uh, guide in a bit more detail than I can put into a video and I've got uh, a bit of code from the game so you can see exactly how it all works. It's much more uh, detailed on there so make sure you 
you check that out, there'll be a link in the description below. Make sure you also keep all your feedback coming, I do read it all, and uh, try to take it on board if I can, I'm always looking to improve. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. As a technically gifted, you have a much better chance of finding strikers with physically strong than with attacker. But as with technically gifted, there's a problem. 